it's Giselle. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing my third Amazon personal shopper box. And this month, instead of an actual box, I got a big bag. And I think that's because I don't have any shoes in this order. If you watched my last video, you will have seen that I talked about possibly going into the app and bringing down my price points uh, because I thought some of the items I was receiving was kind of high. So uh, that's exactly what I did. I went in and I brought every single price point down for each category and I brought it down to the lowest that it could actually go, which I think is like a dollar to like $50. Curious to see what type of items I get now that I've lowered that price point. Also in my last video, uh, I wasn't too happy with the selections as far as like them being spring-like items because that's what I had asked for from my personal shopper. So for this particular month, I asked for the same spring-like items, but I also asked for loungewear because working from home the last few weeks, I realized that I have a lot of going out clothes, I have a lot of work clothes, but I don't really have any loungewear. So my personal shopper said she found some loungewear for me as well as springwear. So we'll see just how springy these items really are. Also, in my very first video, I had talked about not really knowing whether or not this was a personal shopper, like a human or like an algorithm. But I'll tell you the last two times, I did get like a personalized note sent to me, not in the package itself, but like in the app, there was like a personalized note. And I believe like my shopper's name is like Brianna. So anyways, Brianna said she chose some of her favorite loungewear um, and some spring items. So whether or not Brianna is a real person, I don't know. Let's go ahead and dive right into the items that they got me in box three. First up, we have these pair of, um, they're like canvas, canvas pants from Hurley and I think they're, let's see, these are the beach jogger pants in olive canvas. And this is a size medium and that's what they look like. These look really loungy to me. I do love the color. Um, I don't have anything like this right now in my wardrobe. So I do think this was a good pick. Uh, curious to see if it will look nice on. Um, it's a size medium and, well, I'll show you. When you don't have it, uh, when you don't have it tied, this is, this is what it looks like. And this looks really wide to me. Um, so I don't know if maybe I should have gotten a small, if a small would work better, but uh, based on my sizing, this is what they sent me. Um, I hope it fits. This looks cute. I like it. It's got the pockets, um, you know, real pockets. So yeah. Next is this cute blush top. See that? It's got like a ruching in the front with a tie and it's um, it's by Sugar Lips and it's, uh, it's ribbed. It's got like that ribbed knit. And this is cute. I think this is a cute uh, springy looking top for sure. This next top that I'm going to show you, I am a little uncertain about. And the reason why is because in my last video, they sent me this red striped denim jacket. I think it was a denim jacket. Anyways, I didn't like how it looked on me at all. Um, this top is also red striped, <laughs> but um, it was a little different and it has these flared, flared little arms right here. And it's something that I don't know. I thought I would give it a shot because maybe uh, maybe a top versus a jacket with the stripes would look better on me. So uh, I figured I would try this. They did have a black option for this, but 
Um, I figured I have a lot of black clothing, so I would try this out. So that's what it looks like. Um, it's just a ribbed knit, uh, flared little knit top here. And this is from uh, Jack by BB Dakota. All right, this next top that I have is also from BB Dakota and it is a black, black crepe tank top and it has those cute little, uh, little edge right there with the button detail going down. Um, I can tell you just by looking at it, it is super, super see-through. I mean, I, I don't know, it's really see-through. I didn't realize how see-through it was. I guess uh, I should have taken into consideration that it was called um, a crepe top, which uh, usually means thin. It's a, it's a cute top. Let's see what it looks like on. Um, so the next item that I'm gonna show you is definitely in the loungewear category, and it isn't anything that I have. Uh, it's got a strange name to it. It's called a bed jacket. So not necessarily pajamas, but a bed jacket. Like that's the actual name of it, yep. So this is the Kendall and Kylie women's marled cowl neck bed jacket in the color denim. And this thing looks super, super soft. So you got like these over, oversized arms. It really reminds me of like a bath mat. Do you see that? <laughs> it's, it's got like a, a very soft bath mat feel to it. Kind of one of those weird ones where I was like, I, I need to see one of those up close. <laughs> the next item I have to show you is also in the loungewear category. And it is this, uh, what looks to be like in a cardigan. Maybe can look like a robe. I mean, it kind of looks like a robe, but uh, they are definitely advertising it as a cardigan. So this is the Amazon Essentials Relaxed Fit Lightweight Lounge Terry Open Front Cardigan in uh, light pink. And that's what it looks like. We shall see. We shall see if she is a keeper. This is, this is a cute one. This is a little denim, a little denim off the shoulder top. It's got this cute little uh, tie detail at the end of the sleeves here. And that's what it looks like. That's cute. I don't know, um, it kind of looks like it could be a little big. So this is the Blue Pepper Women's Denim Off the Shoulder Top. So it could be big, it could be small. I'm not sure if it just kind of looks like that because of how the shoulders are, but this looks like a cute top. This is definitely something that fits into the spring category. So I am excited to try this on. I don't have anything like this already. So I don't know, I think like maybe if it looks cute, this could definitely be a keeper. We are down to our last item and it's also by Kendall and Kylie. And this definitely fits into the loungewear category. So two piece pajama set by Kendall and Kylie. So we have these uh, fleece, like fleece little pants. That's what they look like. Those are the bottoms. And then this is the top. So it looks like it's just a V-neck, V-neck leopard uh, top also in that same, um, in that same fleece material. If you want to see me try on these items, um, including the bed jackets, uh, stay tuned. We have the first shirt here and I'm not like super in love with it. I think I would like it better. I, I do like the sleeves. I think they're cute. They give it a nice little touch, but I don't like how short it is. Like it's kind of an awkward length. I feel like it's not a crop top. 
Um, it just kind of is like not, I don't know. I, the length of the shirt would really bug me. And I think too, it's like the, the this edging. I would have rather the shirt have a uh, normal edging at the bottom here, a little bit longer. I don't think it's really a shirt that you can tuck. I feel like one movement and the shirt is gonna untuck. This is a no for me, but definitely a cute top for someone who doesn't mind the length. This is the Kendall and Kylie bed jacket. And this is really big. And it comes with pockets, which I do love. And it is super cozy. I mean, as you can see, this thing is huge. It is meant to be really comfortable. I can't see myself actually wearing this to bed. What's kind of weirding me out is the inside of this uh, bed jacket. So I'm gonna try to show you like what it looks like. And you let me know if it kind of looks like it's been used like over and over again. Like it looks like, it looks like what some things that I own already look like after like years of use. So let me show you what I'm talking about. This is the inside of the garment. Do you, do you see that? It's like, it's got like little dust bunnies. Why does it look like that inside? Maybe it's just the fabric. It's got the tags on it, so I kind of find it weird that somebody would use it and then send it back. I, I, I don't know. Next up, we have the open lightweight cardigan, which to me kind of reminds me of a robe without uh, the little tie that goes with it. So it is really lightweight and it's super, super comfy. Um, it's just the right length and it's lightweight and not thick. So it's perfect for like the spring oh, and it's got pockets. So that's what it looks like. That's how long it is. So definitely something cozy. I don't really see this being something that I would wear out of the house. I, I know that they, um, I think they advertise it as a cardigan, but to be quite honest with you, I would not wear this as a cardigan to go out and out of the house with. It's definitely got more of a loungewear pajama feel to it, which is kind of what I was going for. So this is definitely one that I will consider keeping. Um, I forget how much this actually was, but if it has a good price point, I think I might actually keep this one. Next up underneath, I have the crepe top from BB Dakota. It's very comfortable, but do I need one of these? I do like the little detail that it has up here. Um, that's cute. I don't have anything that has that more of, I just have more of like a plain black tank top. Um, I like the button details that go all the way down. I don't know if you can see that. Um, those go all the way down. This one is a maybe, not because I really need it, <laughs> because let's be honest, I don't really need another black shirt in my, in my collection. But it is nice to have options for different things to wear under uh, cardigans and shirts and all that. So uh, this one is a maybe. Next up we have that pink ruched top and that's what it looks like. Let me try to get a whole picture. I have it paired with the green pants. I would not wear this with these green pants just to let you know. I don't know. And please don't take this the wrong way if it's something that you wear. But for me, I kind of feel like the shirt may be a little too juvenile for me. Like it's more of like juniors and not to say that I don't have junior stuff. Like I still saw, I still shop in the juniors section for sure. But it's really one of those shirts that I look at it and I'm like, I don't know. I think it might be like a little too juniors for me, uh, more more like teen wear, like I could see my niece wearing something like this. That's the shirt. I don't think I'm keeping it. I think this one's going back. So next up are the pants from Hurley, the beach joggers. And I really, really wanted these beach joggers to fit. They're super comfy, but I gotta be honest with you. Um, they are medium and I have them tied 
super tight and they're still they're still baggy so I don't know I think maybe a small would have fit better for these but these are really cute uh, super super comfy um, if you're looking for beach joggers I would definitely recommend these for sure that's what they look like you've got pockets um, love the pockets and as you can see it's just really really big um, but they're so cute super cute so next up I have the two-piece Kendall and Kylie pajama set and that's what it looks like it's not super stretchy uh, pants I guess you would consider these more of like a straight leg pant um, the shirt is a good length like it's pretty long which I like uh, the pants are a good fit my only hesitation on this pajama set is that I kind of wish the material was a little bit different. Um, I'm not a big fan of fleece for pajamas. And the reason being is because I tend to get really hot. So I don't like sleeping with fleece, which is, I know, I know. It's kind of weird, right? Like people like to be cozy and warm at night. Um, it's just, I don't mind like fleece robes and you take the robe off before you go to bed, but actual fleece pajamas for me are kind of like a, mm. and the funny thing is I already have a fleece leopard print pajama set that someone gifted to me. Um, and I don't really wear it that often for that reason. So I kind of feel like I would be purchasing this and not really wearing it. Um, I don't know. I feel like I would probably wear the shirt as like a shirt uh, around the house, but I don't think I would actually go to sleep with it on. Last up is the denim off the shoulder top with the cute little uh, tie details on the sleeves. And this is a really cute shirt. I don't have anything that resembles this in denim. Um, I do have an off the shoulder leopard top, but um, this one I'm really considering keeping. And if I keep it, I'm gonna have to invest in a really good uh, strapless bra. So if you have any recommendations on like your favorite strapless bra, let me know in the comment section below. This is what it looks like. And I think it's super cute. I definitely think it would look really cute with some white uh, jeans, some white ankle jeans. So that's what it looks like. What do you think? Should I keep it? Sometimes when I wear these off the shoulder shirts, it kind of gets annoying. Like I feel like sometimes if you're like, you know, putting your hands up and they like, and your shirt goes like this, you know, like, let's try that. Oh, there they go. So then you have to like put the shirt back down. <laughs> it's the only thing that's really annoying with this is like, if you're, if you're actually doing things while you're wearing this, it's like, oh, and then, oh, there's the shirt. But I don't know, can you wear the shirt like that? Let's see. Cause some shirts you can wear like both ways, you know, off the shoulder or, no, this definitely, um, it's definitely meant to be worn off the shoulders because it's puckering up right here when I try to do that. Keeping one item. Here it is. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, that was the third Amazon Prime Shopper box. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. Um, I always love opening up what they sent me and trying on the different pieces. I hope you are all out there and you are doing well. Things are still crazy. Things are still uncertain out there. Just trying to take it day by day and um, hang in there. So I hope you're out there. I hope you're hanging in there. I hope you still have your sanity. If you don't, it's okay. Um, we're all slowly losing ours. <laughs> but anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked this video, please leave me a like so that I know that you enjoyed the video. 
Also, uh, leave me a comment below letting me know um, if you have tried Amazon Prime Personal Shopper. If you have, what do you think of it? Um, do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you think it's a real person or do you think it's an algorithm that picks these items out for you? Because um, that's like the big question. I don't know. Are they real? Are they not real? I don't know. If you are not already subscribed, please consider subscribing below and hitting the little notification bell if you like these types of videos. Um, and I also do other types of videos, so check out my channel below. If you like what you see, consider subscribing. It would mean the world to me. Did I just rhyme? I think I rhymed. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Bye.